friends, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And today is Pizza Friday. In this house, we've been doing pizza on Fridays for many years since the, since the kids were kids. <laughs> and all our friends would come over on Pizza Friday. It was a good time. Uh, Robert and I still do Pizza Fridays, but we're not going to do just any old pizza today, no, because there's lots of kinds of pizzas. Red sauce and pepperoni is excellent on a pizza. I love it, but sometimes I'm in the mood for something different. Today, I'm going to show you that something different. Also, pizza can be made with whatever you got hanging out in your fridge. So you got produce that needs to be used up, put it on a pizza on Friday. Today, I've got some items I am going to use, and it's going to be a fun pizza. So pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. Okay, we're going to make the pizza dough first. I have one and a half cups of warm water. Yeast, I'm going to use two and a quarter teaspoons, which is equivalent to one package of yeast. So use a package or two and a quarter teaspoons if you buy in bulk like I do. Two teaspoons of sugar. Okay, you can use all-purpose flour for this or bread flour. In the recipe, I must have prescription. In the recipe, I have all-purpose, but I actually prefer to use bread flour for this. Actually, I'm almost out, so I'm going to mix it. So I'm putting three in first, and I'm going to hold a half, the half a cup off to the side. Three quarters teaspoon salt, two tablespoons of olive oil. You can do this by hand, you don't need a mixer, but I just find this much, much easier than ha having to do it by hand. I did it by hand for many years before I got a KitchenAid. You know, back when I had mom muscles. When you're told little ones with diaper bags and carrying three kids at once. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, this is coming together. I'm going to set my timer for seven minutes. I'm going to let this knead for seven minutes. Okay, while that was going, I got my toppings cut up. And we are doing a tomatillo and jalapeno pizza. That is what is going on the pizza today. The timer is about to go off for this pizza dough. So I'm going to get it into a bowl that has been oiled with olive oil. And then I'm going to cover it with a towel and... Put it in the oven with a light on to rise for this really only needs 30 minutes but i'll probably leave it in there for a good 45. okay i've got my pizza pan and i am i do this the lazy way so i'm going to go ahead and put olive oil down and i'm going to tell you what this makes the best pizza crust this dough recipe here's my beautiful pizza dough i'm going to dump it right on there I'm not going to bother with hand stretching it out or anything, rolling it out and stretching it. And you can cut this in half and make two pizzas with it, which I should have cut it in half. Uh, is it too late? This is a lot of dough. Cut it in half, it'll make two pizzas the size of this. This is probably 14 inches. So like two medium pizzas or one really big one. You could put it up on a cookie sheet and make a large cookie sheet pizza. I love this iron for pizza. It is so good. And now, Mexican crema. If you can't find crema, I like the Cacique brand. If you can't find it, you can mix sour cream and heavy cream together. Which I was out of crema, didn't realize it, so that's what I had to do today. So a cup of sour cream, quarter cup heavy cream, 
mix it together really well. Okay, it's going to get loud. Robert's coming through the door. I'm also going to squirt a couple cloves of garlic onto this. Not necessary, but I love garlic. You could mix it directly into the crema if you want to. Okay, three cloves of garlic. Also, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. I'm going to do a little salt, a little pepper, and I'm going to do it again over the top of the tomatillos. Tomatillos. Okay, so tomatillos, I am going to go ahead and salt them a little. And then I'm using Mexican blend cheese. You can use mozzarella, you can use Oaxaca, whatever you like. So I used two cups on that and then I have fresh jalapenos. Sliced. Jalapenos tend to mellow when you cook them. Okay, I'm putting this in my 425 degree oven for about 15 minutes, maybe less. Okay, here is my pizza. We did let it go a little bit long. But we like our cheese to brown up. Listen to this crust. It is crunchy. It is the best. Okay, he's going to do a taste oh, test for you. Is crickets. Am I in here, Cricket? I'm standing side. I'm standing this way. Here we go, people. Pizza! Which is always my fave homemade. She makes the best. Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven for about 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the oven for about 15 minutes. Oh my goodness, here we, we go. We haven't had this one yet. Mmm, it smells delicious. It's not so hot. Mm. I love your white stuff. Mm. Oh, oh, that's good. Is that a pino? Mm -mm. Yeah, there's a pino in there. Mm, the white sauce is delicious. Jalapenos. Mmm. Perfect. Mmm. Jalapeno mm. and jalapeno. Oh yeah, it was wonderful. Now you, now you need water. Any water. Delicious, babe. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. I love wow, the seeds and good. the jalapenos. <laughs> Woo. May I get another? Absolutely. All right, give me a two. My goodness, babe. That was delicious. Thank you. It is really good. The tang from the tomatillos, and then a little bit of spice from the jalapenos, but then there's the creamy sauce. It's so good. And my pizza crust is so crispy. Oh my gosh. We can hardly go out for pizza anymore. If we do, he complains the crust isn't as good as mine. <laughs>
If you like jalapenos, I suggest to try this. So yummy. Anyway, friends, that wraps up your Pizza Friday or your fun Friday pizza. I'll be back next Friday with another fun pizza. I love that crust. If you liked the video, and I hope you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes. I will link the pizza crust and the recipe below for you. And I will just put in the description box what I use for toppings. And then you can put what you want on it. If you don't like jalapenos, you can leave them off. Um, but on what you do like, I did sprinkle this with a little fresh cilantro at the end. So yummy. Anyway, friends, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.